Hi. Welcome back to Bridge to Success Teradata Tutorial. In this video, we will learn the Teradata architecture and space concepts. You can view all the videos related to Teradata in the playlist of the channel or by clicking the link mentioned in the description of this video. The major components of Teradata are parsing engine, binet and access module processors. Let's go through each of these components. When a user submits a query, it first gets connected to the parsing engine. Parsing engine formulates the most efficient and least expensive plan in order to return the requested response set. It consists of the parser, the optimizer, and the dispatcher. Parser checks the user access, verifies the syntax of the request, check if all the objects exists. The optimizer is cost-based, and develops the least expensive plan, in terms of time, to return the requested response set. The dispatcher, controls the sequence in which the steps are executed, and passes the steps received from the optimizer onto the binet, for execution by the AMPs. After the AMPs process the steps, the P receives their responses over the binet. The dispatcher builds a response message, and sends the message back to the user. Binet is a communication layer, and sits between the AMPs and PE. The PE transmits the plan to the AMPs via the binet. In response, the data that the AMPs retrieve from disk drives, is returned to the PE via the binet. There are two binets in Teradata. Binet 0 and Binet 1. The reason for having two binets is. If one binet fails, the second one can take its place. When data is large, both binets can be made functional which improves the communication between PE and AMPs, thus fastening the process. Access module processors. Perform the physical task of retrieving the result data. Each AMP is associated with a set of disks on which data is stored. Only the AMP can read or write data from the disks. AMP is also responsible for aggregating columns, lock management, sorting rows, join processing, output formatting, disk space management, etc. Teradata offers a set of virtual disks for each AMP. The storage area of each AMP is called as virtual disk or disk. Each individual server in the Teradata is referred to as a node. Each node has its own operating system, CPU, memory, own copy of Teradata RDBMS software and disk space. In the figure, we have a two-node Teradata system. Space allocation is defined as the amount of disk space that is permitted for a specific user or database. Teradata has three different categories of space allocation. Permanent space, spool space, temporary space. Permanent space is the amount of data storage allowed for a specific user or database. The space is used by the actual table data, secondary index subtables, fallback table data, and permanent journals. The amount of permanent space is divided among the number of AMPs. Whenever per AMP limit exceeds the allocated space of AMP, no more room in database error message is generated. Spool space is the disk space that is used to store a subsequent queries, intermediate and final result sets. Users without spool space cannot execute any query. Spool space is allocated from the unused perm space on a Teradata system. Temporary space is the disk space that is available for use in global temporary tables. Temporary space is allocated from the unused perm space on a Teradata system. Thanks for watching the video. You can watch more videos by clicking the link mentioned in the description of this video below the video name or from the playlists of Bridge to Success channel. Kindly like and share the video. Also, please subscribe the channel, Bridge to Success.